Eric, seam gauges are so passe. Uh, it's, it's obvious now that people are looking for glass panel displays in, in more ways than one, but one of the uh, few areas that seems to have gotten short shrift is how we're uh, digesting engine data. It seems you have an interesting solution here. Talk to us about the Oracle C CRM2100. Well, we do, Jim. Thank you. The Oracle CRM2100 from Zerion Avionics has been available for a little over a year now. And this product is uh, to replace your primary engine gauges, single engine piston aircraft. Mm -hmm. It is TSO'd and STC'd and available for retrofit on the entire Bonanza fleet at this point. And uh, within the next 30 to 60 days, we'll be able to replace the original engine gauges in all of the four and six cylinder Cessna and Piper aircraft. So we're very excited. We've had a wonderful reception from the field. The installers and our expansive dealer network really enjoy installing it. What kind of uh, installation chores might somebody look forward to as far as getting one of these retrofitted to the airplane? Well, you know, there's always some initial questions that involve where am I going to put it in the panel? And we've done a couple of things to help that, you know, help further that cause. Number one, the unit is radio stack mountable. It's six and a quarter inches wide, standard radio stack width, if you need to. However, we've also got some accommodating adapter panels, very nicely retrofitted, for instance, for the Bonanza fleet, right in the center section of the panel. As far as the additional retrofits, the kit does come with all the necessary cables and sensors to completely re-outfit the aircraft with all updated sensors, solid state pressure sensors. Really, it's, a, it's an advancement for the 21st century. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Now, are you doing anything unusual as far as sensor technology itself? We are. We are. Number one, we've incorporated some really good brand name sensors as far as the exhaust gas cylinder head temperatures go. But one of the neat things that we've done is we've developed a network system. And of course, we are using solid state pressure transducers as well that are certified mm -hmm. for the aircraft and for uh, uh, airworthy uh, cert certificated aircraft. But what we've done is we've developed a network system where the engine data unit or the engine interface unit, as we call it, is certified to be installed on the engine side of the firewall. Okay. So what that allows the operator to do or the installer to do is we can take out all of the old wiring, all of the old gauges, the wet lines especially, fuel and oil, never like to have those behind the panel. You can take those out, install the engine interface unit behind, or I should say on the engine side of the firewall, mm -hmm. keep all of that wiring, then we have a simple cable that we supply circular connectors, military style technology, with a sealed bulkhead connector. That becomes your only firewall penetration. So it becomes a network uh, installation. It's expandable for ancillary products in the future, which we do have in the works. And we've then used that platform as our basis to develop a twin engine system. So we've got a lot to offer and a lot to move forward. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Our installers are seeing a, a really a relatively low install time. They run into less headaches. They can do a good portion of the installation standing up outside of the aircraft. So they're awfully excited to get rid of the old wiring. Really cuts down on some weight, cuts down on some failure points. And uh, again, it's a networked architecture, which is the first of its kind for GA. So we're excited. Being certified for primary, it now has to be customized on a per aircraft or per airframe and engine combination. So what, just a quick walkthrough here, 
these are these three arcs depict manifold pressure, prop RPM, and fuel flow in that order. You know, we've got the digital indications that are respective for the individual uh, indications. You'll notice that these are very similar to the colors of the controls in the aircraft, mm -hmm. obviously meeting the human factors requirements for certificated aircraft. But it gives the pilots a quick glance of really the position of their controls as much as anything else. So, for instance, on takeoff roll, you're going to expect to see all three of those arcs right up against the aligned red line. And, of course, you've got the digital indication for each right next to it. Okay. Uh, this is a dedicated fuel computer. It's up all the time. It allows the pilot to see how his uh, fuel consumption and so forth and fuel reserve actually mm -hmm. is going to be affected as he adjusts his power. Mm -hmm. We've got a nice indication of horsepower and percent horsepower as well which is proven accurate so we're very excited uh, to really have something that gives the pilot good accurate information for the first time. Upper right hand corner on this screen okay and we do have multiple screens I'll walk you through quickly Excellent. is our engine analyzer display which again you can see is bright colors mm -hmm. and it allows the pilot in a quick glance to look at it and say, I've got a cylinder or cylinders that may be running hotter than they should be.